Yo, support? What are we supporting though? What is we supporting? The water hustle. But what is we supporting, honestly? Yeah, my mom, bro, we all sell water and stuff. We support, yo, the water. My mom sold it, bro. We all here trying to make it. Bro, you can't blame me one time, bro. Shit. Split it. What you just gave him, bitch? Don't put a hand on my car. Bitch, 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 all right now so we've seen two rappers well platinum rappers super kind of like on the superstar level give away money and i want to know what are y'all <clears throat> how do y'all perceive this I want to know what are y'all thoughts in the comments. Now, the young men said out of their mouth, we're out here selling water so we can stay out of trouble. The thing that bothers me is that Meek Mill has been in this position. I've been in this position. Doing things that we normally don't do just to make money. And I listen to a lot of Meek Mill's music. I know he can relate to these young men. And so the young men were pleading. Then the one young man says, oh, my mama's soul. Then another young man says, they're not going to split the $20. And y'all, it's 2020. How can that many kids split $20? Like, we really got to be, be be real with ourselves. How can that many children split $20? And what are they going to purchase? What are they going to buy with $20 with that many kids? You buy chips, you got to pay taxes on that. You buy soda, you got to pay taxes on that. Buy a piece of candy, got to pay taxes on it. There's not a lot that they can buy. So... I really don't, I want the people and I want y'all to comment in the comments on what y'all think. I just hear from project what I want, but I want to see what y'all think. Because I don't want to talk down on Meek Mill. But it's just the fact that when he asked him, what are, what are, what are we supporting? The young man clearly stated that we're out here selling water so we can stay out of trouble. And we want the best for our people. We want the best for our community. And, and Meek Mill, you can actually relate to them. And we could go to the strip club that night. Watch this. We can go nine times out of ten. They'll go to the strip club that night. Buy a section of city. That's going to be what? At least $1,000. And the reason we're buying a section is just to be seen. Period. We want to be exclusive because we don't be in the, want to be in the crowd. So that's to protect yourself, protect your team. I totally understand that point. But it's also a level of status. And then not only that, you're going to buy bottles of champagne that is not supporting the black community. And the clubs are going to upcharge the bottles of champagne. You're going to drink it and it goes, that money goes out of our, out of our communities. But that's an entire different conversation. All right. So we want better for our community. We want better for our young men. And then we have a, we have an opportunity to give because evidently you did it for a purpose because you recorded it. You could have just did that and did record it. But you did it for a reason and it backfired, in my opinion. Right? Let's be real. Now you got 6 9 Regardless if he's a snitch or not, that's not even the context. We're dealing with giving. He walks up on the elderly lady. The elderly lady says, your tattoos are scaring me. He was like, yo, don't worry about the tattoos. 
And he pulls out a wad of money, which I'm sure Meek Mill had a wad of money. And everybody in that car that was with Meek Mill. And it bothered me that you told them not to touch your car. You don't, don't put your hands on my car. And you could go get that car cleaned. Them young men probably ain't never seen a car like that a day in their life. But that's a whole nother conversation. So it's just sad how we do our own people. So he walks up, get his editor, pulled out a wad of money. A little bitty girl, knowing she don't understand the value of money, gives her $500, puts $500 in his little girl's hands and tells the both of them to split it. Then the, the grandmother see that it's real. She comes back and says, you ain't going to give me up. He takes out another 100 and gives the granny 100 There might have been more than $100 bill, but it looked like it was just 100 I mean, I'm, I'm done. I just want y'all to comment in the comments and give me what y'all think.